Guy, how are you doing today? Good, Rory. How are you doing? I'm really good. A pleasure to talk to you today. First question, maybe the most difficult question. What is your favorite spy movie of all time? Funny enough, we were talking about this earlier. Oh, yeah? Okay, yeah. Can you just, you fire a couple into me and I'll tell you where I place it. Well, I'll tell you some of the other ones that, that some, some of your cast have already put forward. Yeah. And some of them are a bit random. Like Aubrey suggested Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, which... Funnily enough, I, I, watched, guess, that. I, I watched that a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Hugh went for... Uh, Three Days of the Condor and... Three Days Steven. of the Condor, funnily enough, we went for three days as well. It almost seems like a bit of a cliche go-to, though, so I'm a bit embarrassed about that, but it is pretty good. What is another one, um, Jay? Yeah, well, sorry, I what, what like, other ones you have there, Roy? Just like, you know, Bonds, Mission Impossible, The Saints, like, they're all... You know, there's a couple of those missions that are pretty good, actually. Oh, Lives of Others. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a deep cut, but I appreciate it, for sure. Yeah, I would go for The Lives of Others. Crimson Tide, we had to- Crimson Tide, I love Crimson Tide. It doesn't really come under Spy, though, does it? I don't know what it comes under. Anything in a submarine, but I think Cr- Crimson Tide's a masterpiece of its genre. You know, lives of others. There you go. It's hard to trump that. Watching this movie, I, I-, I can't fully explain why, but the-, the-, the film, obviously, there's a lot of uh, action movie elements and spy elements and all that feeds into it, but the, the film it seemed to remind me of more than any other was Get Shorty where it's someone who's like it's involved in Hollywood and but it's like real life subterfuge that they're they're finding themselves a part of uh which I really enjoy because I think Get Shorty is a fantastic film uh but were there any particular like tonal or cinematic touchdowns for you when you're making it saying this is the kind of vibe or story we're going for yeah Get Shorty <laughs> <laughs> well I got it right then. <laughs> yeah I think I think that was the I'm a big fan of Get Shorty it is a masterpiece by the way Get Shorty it is a masterpiece so I think that was somewhere in the uh, somewhere in the equation and people don't seem to make films like that anymore that seemed to be of a period you know it was sort of late 90s early 2000s there was some interesting movies with that kind of tonality to them so it, yeah in no small way I think we were trying to capture some of that spirit I have asked this question a lot lately. Like it is a conversation around uh, the kind of duality in the way films are right now. It's either a two hundred million dollar blockbuster or it's a teeny tiny indie movie, and there's less and less of these like adult aimed, well made, well produced films in the in the middle. You know, and this is a fantastic example of that. Uh, like, do you notice that they are, they do seem to be kind of becoming less and less, or or do you enjoy yeah, no, making I'm, these kind I'm, of I'm, I'm on board with you. I'm on board with you. To get shorty as the metaphor, right? Those type of movies movies are my favourite movies, right? Because mm-hmm. you can't see them coming. They they're plump with creativity, cheekiness, and irreverence, and yet the the sum total of the experience is more than worth it. And it's funny because you know, they be they have been sort of pushed out of the conversation and it's actually the very conversation that you want to have because i'm not that interested in either end of the uh, uh of the polarity and the duality of uh, of the other stuff so i like stuff in the middle and when, when it comes to making movies like this and, and and casting it specifically i think like obviously you've worked with jason a lot and you've worked with hugh a good bit and you're working again with josh but I think the casting of Aubrey was kind of surprising, I think, because so many people would have her so specifically in mind for who she is for her work previously. So do you find that easy or difficult to kind of disassociate what you might know them from when it comes to bringing them onto new projects like this? No, it's funny enough. I, I, I'm only aware of the fact it seemed like an anomaly uh, in retrospect, because other people have said to me, well, that's a surprise. It, to me, she, I just liked her work and I thought she was just a breath of fresh air. So it, it felt like she would be kind of consistent within the tone that we were going for. You need uh, an injection like that. And I suppose for maybe the reason that people are quite, quite surprised by it. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of her work and, and I wanted to back her sort of, her tonality to to join our frequency. And one uh, final Irish-esque question, if that's okay. Uh, I did recently speak to Brad Pitt about his role in Snatch, and he brought up saying that he based his character in that movie kind of off someone from Father Ted. I'm not sure if you're aware of that or if that's something you worked on him with. uh, (laughs) But like, were you aware of that Father Ted connection with Brad on that one? (laughs) I think that story keeps changing, by the way. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, he. I think he took that reference from all sorts of people, actually. It's fun, though, wasn't it? He was fun. Like, it's, it's Brad paying uh, an Irish boxer, so I'm... Yeah, by the way, that, that tr- it turned out to be quite prophetic, really, didn't it? Yes, it yeah. did. <laughs> that, was weird. that was weird. I remember when Tyson Fury first started coming out, I thought, hold oh, on, this can't, this can't turn into something. Get it? How about that? Very funny. Well, listen, like, you never know, 20 years from now, with something from uh, Operation Fortune, you'd be like, hang on a second. <laughs> I recognize that. Was, by the way, it was great. It was great. I mean, I've been following that the traveling community's uh, tradition in boxing for some time and I've been very interested in it. I like that. I'm very interested in that culture. And it was it was wonderful to see that become uh manifest in in rather a spectacular fashion. I mean, I'm a big fan of Mr. Fury and uh I'm so glad he's he is what he's become what he's become. Really very impressive. Fantastic. Guy, thank you so much for your time today. My pleasure, Ori. Cheers now. Take care. Have a good day. So you weren't seen by anyone? Yes. Does a yes you weren't seen by anyone? Yes. Or a yes you were seen by someone? Yes. Swear.